What's up Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers. It's been a year and some change since I've done anything in Space Engineers. I haven't played, I haven't talked about it, I haven't been keeping up with the mods or the updates. So this, this should be interesting. I got a lot of stuff that I have to figure out how to use. But it should be fun. So I knew that if I was going to come back to Space Engineers, it had to be something spectacular or something pretty fun. Something a little bit different than what we've done like a million times in Space Engineers. And I actually got the idea from a comment in a live stream that one of my viewers made while streaming Space Engineers. And he said it would be cool to have, I can't remember who it was, but they said it would be cool to have nothing but salvage. So no mining at all. Anything that we get, we have to get from abandoned vehicles or bases that we find throughout the planet. We are on Pertam and we are on a multiplayer server where PVP is allowed. This should be fun. Let's go ahead and get this started. So right quick, I just need to grab a pistol. There we go. So some of the places we need to go to might actually have turrets. All I have is a pistol. Also with the PVP, I might need one. Why am I sliding across? Ah, eh, space engineers. Who knows? All right, so this is a multiplayer server, and it is open for anyone to join. Biggest rule that you need to pay attention to is don't be a dick. Um, basically, no griefing and no just messing with people. If you come on the server, be respectful and be courteous to the other players. The mod list, my Steam, uh, Steam page, and the Discord will be down in the description. So that way you can go ahead and get that stuff if you need it. Uh, so with the mods, we have several of them. Uh, there's a lot that I did forget. But let's go ahead and start with the map. So this server was brought to us by Drifter, who set up the server for us, which thank Drifter for that. So we have a multiplayer server thanks to him, and a lot of the mods were actually suggested from, I guess I'm going to say suggested. They were, we all got together on Discord and decided what kind of mods we wanted to use. Uh, a lot of these mods are new I think I'm not sure like I said it's been a while I have no idea but basically what's gonna happen is we are on Pertam and the storyline is that we are on a prison planet our goal the end goal of the series is to get back into space go to another planet or whatever and then we could just start building regularly like mining stuff like that but we can't just leave. If I hit G, you'll see why. This is what I can build. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, so what we have to do is we have progression in the game. But it is not vanilla progression. It is a mod that we actually put into this world. The mod is actually pretty simple. You have to grind an item down to learn the blueprint to be able to craft it. Now with the vanilla version of... well vanilla progression if you grind down an item item say that seat right there you actually open up an entire category of items not with this mod with this mod you have to grind down the exact item and you only open up the blueprint for that exact item so if i grind down that seat i only get a blueprint for that seat and <laughs> that's it uh also what we have is like i said we only have salvage on this world which means mining is not allowed as long as you're on Pertam. now there are other worlds like the earth-like planet which i think is might be that one i'm not sure <laughs> there is mining allowed on other planets but on Pertam, this is a prison planet which does not allow it also we need to open up a gps as you travel throughout the world these messages will come up and they will give you a GPS for different locations. I got this one as I was dropping down to the planet. So, 
if we take a look oh there it is four kilometers well we got a little while to go oh man this is gonna take a bit all right let's uh let's see what we got oh reload <laughs> uh it's not the greatest animation but i guess it works oh focus is only a click I wonder if you could change that so that focus is hold down the right mouse button. Because I'm used to having to hold down the right mouse button. That might take a little getting used to. There's nothing here. Okay, there is something here. Alright, there's a turret right there. That's an interior turret. Uh, I saw it too late. It actually started... Sh it would have shot me and killed me by now. If it was active, so I think we're good. Uh, so this is one of the facilities or settlements that you will find. Not a whole lot of resources, but there is a little bit. Shit, do we got a rover already? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> we got one already. Now, keep in mind, a uh, few issues with this thing right here. We'll go over that in a second. All right, let's go ahead and take a look around. Oh. Come on, man. I don't need tools. I need better weapons. That's what I need. Uh, Nothing in there. Uh, a locker. I can learn the blueprint for that. Uh, here's another container. Oh, there's some ammo. I think that's the rifle, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the rifle. Uh, now all I need is a rifle. <laughs> Uh, it's unfortunate. Find the ammo before you find the actual rifle. Uh, in here, it looks like we have another locker that I need to hack, but that's going to be an issue. And I think this is a bed, right? Yeah, that's a bed. All right, so when it comes to getting into containers like this or lockers, what I have to do is I have to grind it down to the hack line. Let me see if we can actually see it. Yep, in the right-hand corner of, or the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, uh, there's actually a bar that when you grind something down, it goes to functional and hack. There are two different lines. But the problem is, in order to access the locker, I would have to weld it back up past the hack line or the functional line, whichever one's on top. But the problem with that is, without the blueprint, I can't weld it. So, I'm going to have to grind one down all the way. Which, I think... Was it this one? This one was already damaged. So... Hopefully nothing falls out on the ground. Oh, it did. Alright, I think... I think something might have fallen through the planet. <laughs> oh, why am I not surprised? All right, let's go ahead and get in here. Grind this down and see if I can weld it back up. I should have learned the blueprint, hopefully. Yes, I did. We're good. And now, if I hit G... Yeah. Actually, I opened up all this stuff. It should just be the item, not a category. I don't know. Huh. Well, like I said, I, I've never used this mod, so we're going to have to learn it. But kitchen, where is... There it is, the weapons rack. All right, let's see if there's actually a weapon in there. Nope, of course not. Uh, the weapons rack has no weapons. It has everything else but a weapon. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. And there's more resources. A drill. <laughs> We're not mining in this in this uh, server, but at least we have a drill, which means I guess I could make an underground base. Might as well. Shit. Uh, blueprints that we can get for interior turrets. Let's see what's in here. Oh, no, the storage. Ah, a few items. We should have enough resources to go ahead and uh, fix this rover up. But once again, we do have an issue. Yeah, that's the one with just the tools. 
All right, let me. Yeah, I kind of figured. All right, let me tell you what's going on <laughs> right now. Uh, sometimes these things will be in the ground. One thing you don't want to have happen is you don't want a suspension with the wheel underground. That will cause all kinds of issues and stuff will explode. So it looks like what's going on, this is not actually a complete rover. So the wheels are not connected to the suspension. The, uh, you can actually see it here better. So the wheel is not connected to the suspension, it's connected to that block right there. Just to keep it fixed so that way it doesn't create an issue when parts are in the ground. Also another thing that's going to be an issue, uh, these parts like the cockpit, I have not learned them. I don't have the blueprint, so I can't hack it. But luckily, it looks like we have a passenger seat. So all I have to do is grind this one completely down so I could hack this one and I could get into it and see, you know what I could really use? I could use a gyroscope. That could be handy, but I don't see a gyroscope anywhere. Also a remote control block, which I don't see. Well, maybe it's in there somewhere. But also keep in mind, I have to grind down a suspension. So that way I can build a suspension and hack all the suspension on this rover. The cargo containers, I'm going to have to grind one all the way down so I can hack the rest. Is that a program block? Yeah, it's a program block. Huh. Uh, the lights, I'll have to grind one all the way down so that way I can hack the other. Uh, then I can rebuild them. We should get the resources back to build it. Oh, and it looks like we got more cargo containers right there. They're only small cargo containers, so it's not a lot. But, yeah, unfortunately I don't see a medium cargo container anywhere. It would be nice if I could put, put a bigger cargo container on it, but yeah, that's not going to work out. We're going to have to find another location to hopefully get a blueprint for that. So what I'm going to do, let's see, it might take me a minute to get this. Uh, what we can do, I do have to get rid of the wheels. I don't have a choice because I got to place the wheels on the suspension. So all the wheels have got to go. All right, there's one, there's the other. All right, now what I need to figure out is which suspension that should have given me the wheels oh it gave me the suspension as well well maybe I was wrong about this mod I thought it would just give me hold on let's check this out if I could grind this down and okay if I could hack this grind it down and then grind it or weld it back up that means we own the blueprint all right, we own the blueprint. <laughs> so yeah, I need to grind all those down and hack it. But I also need to do that to the light. Grind one down so I can hack the other. And weld it back up. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, so you yeah, have the cockpit and hopefully there's nothing in the cockpit that's gonna fall. through the planet, because they sometimes do. Okay, there was nothing in there. Good. Oh, there's timer blocks, too. Huh, I wonder what the timer blocks do. Now, I think some of these are supposed to be booby trap, but I don't see a booby trap on this. Alright, nine... And that should give me an idea of what is on this thing. All right, let's go and get in the seat. Let's check the inventory real quick. <laughs> there we go. We got a rifle. That's going to make things a lot easier. Let's go to the control panel. Okay, so there is remote control block on this. There's also a gyroscope. That's helpful. 
Uh, so at some point, I do need to go back to the respawn pod or the drop pod, whatever it's called, and grind that down so I can get the blueprints and the resources. But it looks like... Oh, the batteries are going to be an issue. Here, here's the problem. Uh, whenever you grind down a battery, you grind it down to the point where you take out the power cells. The power cells, when you grind them, they turn into scrap. So if I grind down these batteries so that I can own them, I need some power cells to replace the ones that turn into scrap. That is probably going to take a while. Then all the cargo containers, uh, the light... Oh, there's an antenna on here too. Alright, so I need to go through these items one by one. Also, I'll go ahead and grind all of this down, get rid of this entire facility, get all the blueprints and everything. Uh, mostly because I would like to leave the server pretty clean uh, to kind of kind of relieve the lag just a little bit. Try to get this rover done, and then we'll go ahead and move out to the respawn pod and break that down and get all the blueprints and everything else. Then we need to try to find another facility. So this is probably going to take me a while, maybe I would say an hour to grind everything down and then to get this uh, buggy up and running. So when we got that done, we'll go ahead and move out. Alright, so looking around, it looks like I got everything. I also finished up the rover, but check it out, I got a medium cargo container have no idea what I ground down to unlock that, but apparently I was wrong about the mod. I thought you only get the items that you grind down, but it looks like we do get categories. Not sure. I'm pretty sure there was no medium cargo container in this entire facility. So, I unlocked it somehow. <laughs> but no idea how. Alright, let's take a look real quick. So, there is one issue, and I have no idea how I fixed it. Oh, one thing I did forget, I started running out of oxygen, or I ran out of oxygen, started to lose health, realizing Pertam has atmosphere. <laughs> so, yeah, I took off my helmet and now everything's fine. So, inventory. Let's see what we got. So, this is everything in the medium cargo container. I was able to find some power cells. I don't even know where they were. But yeah, we have a few. I think each small battery takes two. So that's enough for three batteries. But we have a whole lot more than that on this vehicle. And then all the other small cargo containers. Oh, there's more. Damn, I might have enough. For, oh, there's more right there. Oh, I might have enough. Actually, I'm going to save those. Because this vehicle is only temporary. At some point, I will be upgrading to a bigger vehicle. And I decided to keep the old paint job, the rusty paint job, because why the hell not? <laughs> it looks kind of cool. And you might also notice that the whole thing is hovering in the air. That's because it's still considered a station. So let's go con control panel. All right, so the issue that I was having, I tried to get into the suspension so that way I could uh, get wheels on it but they were still showing up in red even after I hacked them so I went outside and realized that they don't have uh, let me go ahead and get my grinder out if you come up to the suspension it doesn't have a hack line it only has a functional line so I thought maybe you can't hack those at all but I did notice this I this just happened I did notice that the displays on the cockpit were not on and I could have figured out how to get them on so I just ground down the cockpit and welded it back up or I ground it all the way down and put in a new cockpit or what is this thing called yeah buggy cockpit and then all of a sudden all the suspension was all the suspension was owned by me I think it was because of the cockpit no idea why then I think we have... Did this thing have timers on it? Hold on. No, nothing's nothing's hidden. I thought this thing had timers on it. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they were batteries. 
they weren't timers they were batteries uh, so everything is owned by us let's go ahead and drop this thing actually before I drop it let's check out the suspension real quick and see what we got so steering propulsion brake parking brake and air shocks that's good steering angle is 20 degrees that's fine power we'll go ahead and keep that up to 60 actually you know what screw it let's go ahead convert this to a ship so it'll drop here we go and it does work hells yeah all right let's go ahead and park all right because i need to be able to check out the suspension to get it set properly what i want to do since this is kind of like a doom buggy and it's going to be going over some pretty big hills uh the strength i probably need to turn down but i got to oh that's too much okay six let's try four okay four is too much so five Is that it no it looks like six was the right amount so yep let's go ahead and put the strength up to six there we go uh friction hmm you know what let's go ahead and turn that down a little bit uh let's get it to 25 right now i don't want this thing to be riding on rails i want it to drift a little bit you know we're in sand dunes it's going to drift uh, speed limit will actually put that down to 120 I don't want to be going too damn fast uh, propulsion override steer override where is height offset I want that to be all the way back so it's at its maximum height and I think we are good so there is an unknown signal about a a uh, kilometer and a half away so let's go ahead and turn off the park brake and see just how well this thing travels see if I got the suspension right and then how it travels with all the damn weight on it it is a little bit dark I think the Sun actually just went down yep because the Sun's over that way and that's west so yeah I think the Sun just went down okay well, it's riding pretty good, but I do have one gyro on it. The gyro is helping me get over those ramps and landing on the wheels. Uh, if I did not have the gyroscope on this vehicle, no matter what I do to the back end, it would always want to be front heavy. So the nose would always dig down. So yeah, if you're going to be going over hills like this, definitely put a gyroscope on them. Ooh, it travels pretty well too. All right, is space bar, space bar still the brake? That would be yes. Okay. See? All right, let's see if this is one of the ones that run from you. No, it is not. There's a medium cargo container. So even, even if I didn't unlock it, we st we got one. All right, where's the button? Come here, button, so I can shut this damn thing up. Come on. Okay, I gotta. Come here. Push over. Thank you all right let's see what skin I haven't opened one of these in a long time a metallic welder okay that's kind of cool uh, what's in the medium cargo container looks like we have some space credits and yeah just some steel plates and that's it well let's go ahead and get the battery because I haven't ground one of those down yet uh, we'll go ahead and get the medium cargo container so that way we're saying we're not cheating. I actually did grind one down. And might as well go ahead and get the steel plates while we're here. Come on. And then the parachute hatch. Might as well. <laughs> I don't know when I would actually use it, but we got it now. And then a button. All right, there's some of those blueprints. Now what we need to do is get back over to the rover. But one thing I could do right now. Gonna, oh shit, that's a lot. I'll throw this all in real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the GPS. 
behind this one we actually cleared the entire facility so let's delete that and there we go let's go ahead and get back to the drop pod and empty that sucker out damn that thing rides pretty good without the gyro it probably would have been a pain in the ass but with the one gyroscope it actually rides pretty damn well and here we are back at the respawn pod now this thing is going to have a lot of blueprints for us uh atmospheric thrusters which we can't really use or i won't be using uh basically because since this is a PV pvp server uh flying around up in the air is pretty dangerous especially since this is uh what's it called hardcore mode which means if we die and we don't have a place to respawn it's a permanent actually i think it is permadeath we lose everything blueprints everything i think but i could be wrong i was wrong about a couple of mods i might be wrong about this well yeah basically if you don't have a place to respawn you lose everything and we're about to get rid of the one thing we can respawn in might actually go ahead and leave it yeah i might just go ahead and shut everything down inside this pod but there is another thing that i am going to need since this is space engineers what i need to do if i log out i need something to get into so that my character doesn't disappear either a cryo chamber or a bed now i thought that was something that they changed but i'm not 100 percent certain that they did so just to be on the safe side i would like to build one but unfortunately i can't build a cryo chamber oh passage cool uh cryo it is cryo chamber right uh let's see do we have it i don't think we have a cryo chamber now the reason i'm trying to look for a crowd chamber is because that could be a small grid now the bed here's why i need it to be a small grid uh i could build a large grid bed but the problem is the bed has to be powered in order to power it i need to build a battery or something else to power it but i don't i don't have enough power cells to build a battery so what i gotta do is find a way did i open up a connector do i have connectors i do not have connectors hmm do i have rotors i do not have rotors is there any other way that i can connect it i don't think so i think i might be screwed let me let me try let me try can i put nope this is not a small grid so yeah i can't put a bed on it uh shit i don't know well all i could do is log out and hope i could get my stuff back <laughs> uh hopefully but yeah we'll have to see how that works out in the next episode all right so we got ourselves a rover i'm gonna go ahead and grind down this entire respawn pod do that on my own the next episode we have more blueprints to try to find also probably some resources because here pretty soon damn you are pretty heavy aren't you holy shit well no it's only a little bit hold on it's only a little why does it look like it dips so much yeah, see that it looks like it dips a lot but it's only i guess it is only that much damn that actually looks weird anyways so yeah we need to go out find some more blueprints and some more resources so we can go ahead and start getting some stuff made i need to go out and probably build a station but i need to i need to find a way of powering that station now i do have a large battery on the respawn pod but once again can uh that wouldn't work would it uh we have the welding pads that i could try to transfer that battery over might also be a good idea to go ahead and try to save those batteries 
So just power the whole thing down, save that battery? Might be a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably go ahead and grind everything down because I do need the blueprint anyways. Alright, so yeah, next episode we'll go out and look for some more stuff, more blueprints, more resources. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.